hi welcome to garland collections my name is annabelle and today we're doing something new we're doing a brightland olive oil review i actually bought this bottle of brightland olive oil because i wanted to do this video i got the alive they have like different flavor profiles for their olive oils they're ones that have a little bit of a garlic infusion i tried to get the most simple olive oil possible so that i could use it in many different ways these are the four things that I'm gonna do in this video to review this Brightland olive oil. I'm gonna taste test it by itself, literally plain. I'm gonna mix it with balsamic to make a simple dressing, maybe some salt and pepper, but I wanna know how it performs as like a simple dressing. I wanna use it to coat a frying pan, to saute something. And lastly, probably the most intense test for this will be baking focaccia with it. How <laughs> we have to keep in mind I've never made focaccia before so this is also gonna be a test for me so the olive oil can't help me with that but it can help with making it taste really good and have a good flavor while we're here we might as well do the taste test first I haven't this is still sealed so let's open it up do a little taste test Ooh. I'm just gonna do a little taste test because there's some right here on the cap. Mmm. I mean, it is really good. It definitely has like a very vibrant taste. It has a really fresh taste. Like it doesn't taste super processed. Yeah, it's just super vibrant. Like, ooh, it's almost like refreshing, vibrant, I guess Alive was a good choice for the name of this because yeah, it has that like nice refreshing punch, but it's not like overly flavorful. Like it tastes like olive oil. It doesn't taste lemony. It doesn't taste garlicky. This one, it tastes like olive oil, which I like because that's what it's for. This is what it says. From the golden state of California, Brightlands Alive is custom blended for verve and vibrancy. Lovingly made with heirloom cora, coratina and frantoyo olives and harvested early by a master miller, this superfood nourishes you whole, body and soul. And the harvest date was November of 2021. It says enjoy with spinach and arugula salads, kale and greens, dressings, marinades, hummus, baked goods, and drizzled on sorbet or chocolate whoa so i guess i am testing this in the right way because it can be used in baked goods and stuff i didn't even think about the fact that some people have olive oil on their ice cream and i've never tried that and i'm like should i try it for the video so far i'm impressed like we're off to a good start with the taste test i'm definitely feeling like the quality is there and yeah now we're gonna start making our focaccia. Other than the warm water, these are all the ingredients. I have to say the Brightland olive oil just smells so good. It has a really, really delicious smell. Now I'm putting this in the oven to proof. So I just greased this pan to get it ready for the focaccia and I took this out of the oven. Oh my goodness it rose so much
I don't think I explained this, but focaccia that I made was gluten-free because I eat gluten-free, I'm gluten intolerant, and that's kind of why it looks so flat. Gluten in focaccia is part of what makes it form those strands that give the dough these big airy bubbles, and in a gluten-free version like the one I made, it just doesn't really get those big bubbles. I'm gonna try a piece of the focaccia. Got a pretty good rise. Mmm. Wow. I am wondering if it could have used a little longer in the oven, but, and I think I could have put even more salt on it. But it's good for my first try. And I really like the flavor of the olive oil. So my mom is trying the focaccia. What do you think of the olive oil? I can tell it's really good quality because it it has a lot of depth of flavor. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it really has a nice um, sort of softness to it. Yeah, it does. I like it a lot. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. I think one of the things I would definitely do if I ever made that focaccia again would be instead of making it plain, adding in olives herbs, just more add-ins that you bake into it. I've seen people add tomatoes. I've seen people add very thinly sliced nectarines or peaches on top. Any of that would have helped a lot because it just could have used a little boost in flavor. But that being said, the olive oil had a really good flavor. So it ended up still being good and I finished it in a few days. Also, I kind of skipped doing the saute test with the olive oil because I felt like after doing my little taste test, using it on a salad and baking the focaccia with it, it was just confirmed to me that it was extremely good olive oil. Like there wasn't anything else to prove. It was just so delicious. It's one of those things that it was $38, I think, for the bottle. And that is a lot, but at the same time, like, it was so good and I'm someone who loves food so I'm like eager to have that type of experience you know and to spend money on having that type of really delicious food in my house but I think that this would make a great like treat yourself moment and also a really great gift if you wanted to give it to a friend or as like a housewarming gift I think people bring wine a lot of the time when they go over to someone else's home but olive oil is equally good and probably even more useful. I mean, it depends on if you like to cook or if you like to drink wine, but I definitely am eager to try other Brightland products because I think that their other olive oils could be really good. I mean, I'm sure they are, and I'd love to try the different flavors. They also have like honey. I think they have their own vinegars. And this just showed me that they don't just talk the talk, they walk the walk over there because they have such great branding. I was like inclined to like them anyway. And because of that, I was almost skeptical of the product. Do you know what I mean? Because I was like, oh, this branding is so good. Like it's olive oil. We'll see how good this actually is, especially for like $38 for not that big of a bottle. I do think that the Brightland one tasted more like specialty, if that makes sense. It just tasted, it has a unique and really nice flavor. That's what I'll say. Also, I hate to leave you hanging on trying olive oil on top of ice cream, but I'm just not in the mood to try that right now. If you really want me to try it, comment on this video and if enough people say that I need to try it I'll like do it on my Instagram stories or something or I'll make an entire other video about olive oil on different flavors of ice cream or something like that comment down below if you want that otherwise I'm not gonna do it I'll have links to the olive oil that I got in the description as well as other Brightland products if you want to shop those and I'll also have a link to the gluten-free focaccia recipe that I used in case you want to try making it. I do think it was really good. Like as far as gluten-free focaccia goes, 
gluten-free breads are just gonna be a little bit different. I think we all kind of know that. It was really tasty and my parents both liked it too and they can eat gluten. So I think that's kind of my measure for if something's actually good and it's gluten-free, you know? I never like determined a scale that I was gonna rate the olive oil on, but it's a five out of five, 10 out of 10. Like it's, it's a really yummy olive oil and it's gonna go fast. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you subscribe to Garland Collections and leave a comment down below saying hi. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up because that's super helpful. And just a disclaimer, if you do decide to shop any of the links in the description, those are affiliate links and I appreciate your support so much because I earn a small commission off of those and it's a really helpful way to support me, my small business, and my channel. So thank you for being here. I really hope that you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.